so this is how I install my this is a 3G don't mistake it for 4A or any other router okay this is 3G the one with the so you have to go to the their website just follow this you will have to be request for the developer and then you will see the password okay your root password and then download the mini ssh point bin so i will link the description here below so after you got the password and flash it you have to unplug and then reset hold the reset button and then the and then plug it in for 15 seconds just uh, hold the don't let go of the pin of the reset button that's what i did so okay so this is the 3g r3 version okay so it has uh, 88 megahertz 4 cores 256 25 c okay don't mistake it for 3 there's also a 3 and then there's a 4a and then there's a this is 3g not 3 only uh, this is 3g okay okay i'm going to flash it i'm going to hold the reset the reset and then plug in okay hold it just hold it just hold it it may take a while now it's blinking you can let go now You may need to downgrade your firmware to development edition. Okay, go to this website. Okay, I got it. Now, yep, you need to be in the development. You need to be in development firmware in order to get uh, to access the SSH. Okay, so let's try. Log in as root. There you go, and then four eight zero D three E F C denied again four eight zero D three E Oh, it's not working wait I got in so you have to be in uh, in in the development preview and then you have to flash the SSH mini it, it will give you the correct password so that's it that's how I get it and also I don't let go of the pin when you're flashing okay even if it's blinking okay uh, I was wrong before okay okay now now do just do the command let's see okay let's see the USB uh. Where is the USB the temp? Hmm. 
so it's in the external drive BXT this hmm. there's nothing here I'll copy it first okay now I got it so you have to unplug your USB and insert it again it will be in the external disk okay let's see it's going to flash. I put it in the folder. Firm. Here's the firmware. Okay. So let's try. So just follow the command mdt right i forgot to rename the kernel the i mean the firmware anyway first we write the kernel kernel point bin mdt right okay check And then kernel one. Let's try. Okay. It's writing. Okay, it's right. <laughs> now. The root fs is the next one. MDT, right? Root fs. Point bin. Root. S zero. So the red kernel. What about the firmware? Should I flash the firmware? Or did they forget? Let's see. Okay. Unlocking root FS. Just going to copy this. Move it around. And move it around. Commit. Reboot. Did I do everything right? Sure. So uh, not sure. So let's reboot. If we can access the Lua, it's like the kernel of uh, OpenW after it's run. Reboots. Okay. 
So it reboot. So let's see. IP config. Get us a LAN. Get us a good sign. One dot one dot one. Let's see if we can get something in there. One dot one. Whoa, that is it. Now, what is the password? Maybe no password? Yep, no password. <laughs> so, this is it. Is this open WRT already? Hmm. So I think this is it. It's done. Now it's time to uh, figure out the open WRT. If it's working good or not. Now you have a open WRT server, I mean router. This is that's VLAN. Yep, it does VLAN. VLAN no link. No link one. It has a VLAN now. What version am I? Maybe should I upgrade or something? So that's it. I will tinkering this after that. So that's how I upgrade my firmware. So don't forget to subscribe. Okay, my channel. Okay, bye. I recommend the download here the firmware selector of OpenW. It's much easier to find your device. I just don't know which one is stable. Was well, just well, how come there's a 21? Should I upgrade to 21 or 19? Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Good luck on your router. So I just have to download this system upgrade and then I can upgrade now for my OpenWRT firmware. <laughs> Where do I upgrade? Uh, firmware backup and then uh, flash. Flash new image. Let's see if it's working. Okay, 3G. Upload. It's working. Oops, verifying. Hmm, is this correct? I have to force upgrade. Hmm, this is very scary. Oops, there you go, flashing. Is it done or is it brick? Just upgrading the firmware. Very scary. 
I don't know what I'm doing really. This is the first time I flash my firmware. That's why. Is it still blinking? I guess it's still upgrading. I haven't removed the USB yet. So it takes a lot of time. Why so did I flash the wrong firmware? Oh it's green. See we skin on still access this. Yep, still working. Well, DDWRT is much uh, user friendly, I guess. This is not so. Well, don't forget to subscribe, okay? See you on the next video.